Hello, my name is Dr. David Rosenberg. I'm a family physician and I want to go over this uh, home test for hidden blood in the stool test by Easy Detect. And this is a whole lot better than the old test where you would um, have these cards and you'd have to stick this stick in the stool and it was kind of messy and no one wanted to ever do it so it never got done. This test is a lot more convenient but there are some instructions. It can be a little complicated. If you read it over a few times you'll understand it or you'll watch this video and understand it even easier. So you open up the packet and you take out four different things. You've got the pouches in this little container here, right there. You have five different pouches in there. You've got this result card where you will actually write your results in here. You'll write your results and then send it back. You've got this positive control I'll tell you what that is, and then you've got the instructions. So if you take a look at the instructions, and the instructions say, um, you know, the first thing you want to do is test the water. So you open up this pouch, some scissors, just cut it open, and take out these positive blue color, negative no color, and you've got five of these little strips. They're all uh, individual. Then you've got this uh, desiccant, which says, do not eat, which is great, because otherwise I was going to eat it. <laughs> Throw that away. You take the first one, and the first one you put in the toilet, and the reason why you put it in the toilet first is you want to make sure that there's no blood in the toilet that will make your stool show up abnormal. So it's kind of like the control. So throw it in there, and the instructions say after you do that, uh, wait two minutes and if it turns blue green a blue green color then you know that there's blood in the toilet and flush it and uh, then it says wait a few days and repeat it again which means you've wasted one slip and you're gonna need another one another one of these containers so uh, anyway you want to make sure that 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 toilet is only used for you because you don't want someone coming in after you do this test in between your trials and uh, and uh, having any blood in there so you put it in there, you wait two minutes, if it doesn't turn blue, you're great. Then go to step two. Step two is um, go to the bathroom. If you have to urinate first, urinate, then flush the toilet. So start and then um, have a bowel movement. Don't flush the toilet. Remove, remove, remove another one of these test tissues and then throw it in the toilet then it says within two minutes it should turn blue green if it does then mark it on this slip if it doesn't don't worry about it the next time you have a bowel movement you want to now you don't have to test the water because you know that when you first tested it was fine put one of these um, test tissues in the toilet after you have a bowel movement and it doesn't have to be on the stool just anywhere in the water wait two minutes if it turns blue mark it in there. If it doesn't, mark it in there. Flush the toilet, go about your business. Next time you have a bowel movement, the next day or two, whenever, do the same thing. Have your bowel movement, take this tissue, lay it in the in the toilet, in the water, and see for uh, a blue-green type of mark. Once again, this is the third time. Mark it on this slip. Um, now, here's the last part. The last part is, when you're done, you want to make sure that these test things actually worked. That means if there was blood, it would actually turn blue-green. So the last time, flush the toilet, make sure it's all clean. Take this thing that says positive control, and you want to take this, open it up, and now we're up to step three. Um, and it says this step must be completed in order for your test results to be valid. So flush the toilet, open up the packet carefully, Sprinkle the contents into the toilet while the water is filling up because you want it to kind of stir. Um, so flush the toilet and as the water is filling up, empty this in there. Don't let it flush. Empty it in after it's done flushing and as it's filling up. Wait a minute after it's all kind of settled and then take the last tissue, test tissue, put it in the toilet, wait two minutes, and it's supposed to turn blue-green because this positive control is kind of like an artificial blood so you want to see that this turns blue-green, and if it does, then that means the test is valid. 
mark it on your chart here. So you've got test tissue one, which is the quality check first of the water. Test tissue two, three, and four are three consecutive bowel movements. Doesn't have to be consecutive. If you forget, just do it next time you remember. And the fifth tissue is to test the performance of the check, which should result in a positive since this stuff here is supposed to turn the tissue blue. And then you're done. Fill this out, the form out, and then you can uh, either mail it in or drop it off by your doctor's office or me if I'm your doctor, and, and you're done. A whole lot easier than the old system.